right. Hello, everybody. Um, so, I wanted to go ahead and start up another Let's Play um, of a game that I have been playing for a very long time now. Um, uh, I'm sure you've seen on my channel that I've got several videos already from Final Fantasy XIV, the uh, MMO of the Final Fantasy franchise. Well, the one that's still going anyway. And um, I've been playing it since the first um, the first uh, version of the game, um, A Realm Reborn, not the very 1.0 version. Um, and I really, really love this game. I think it is a great MMO. Um, the community is really fantastic most of the time. And the story is really, really interesting. And I, I just, I really love it. But the, because I've been playing it for so long, and this game is one of those where you are able to play one character and level everything that you want all the way up to max on the same character instead of leveling multiple characters. I've only played through the story the one time. And there's a lot of little details and uh, other things along those lines that I don't remember anymore. And I've been kind of wanting to do another playthrough of the main storyline of Final Fantasy XIV. So I figured it would be a fun thing for me to record. Uh, and upload to YouTube and show everybody else. Um, so we're going to do that, but before I got started, I wanted to show you the character that I usually play as. Um, this is my main. Uh, his name is Zhang. And I've got a lot of classes uh, maxed out to 70, because um, the current expansion the cap is 70, um, it is Stormblood, and uh, I think currently my main classes uh, are, kind of goes back and forth between Dark Knight and Dragoon. I really like them, they're a lot of fun. Um, I haven't leveled everything to 70, I'm still working on that very very slowly, and there's probably some classes that I never will level just because they're not really my playstyle, but yeah. So this is Jang, and I just kind of wanted you guys to see him a little bit. Um, currently he is dressed up as a Dragoon, because um, that's whatever I logged out as last time. <laughs> so yeah, that's him. Um, so we're going to make a new character, and I'm not sure which world I want to put, put them on. I was kind of thinking Midgard Summer because... I don't know. I like Mid uh, Midgard Summer. He's a fun, fun dragon. So let's see if it lets me. I know it might be full. So we're gonna click new character. All right. So I am biased towards Aura, so we're gonna do those. But I figured I'd play a girl this time. Um. Mostly because I haven't really spent a lot of time playing uh, a female character in this game. Um, most of the characters I end up playing are usually going to be male, um, not just because they're more interesting to look at for me, but also because I really like tall characters. Like the male Aura is ridiculously tall. I think the male Rogadins are technically the tallest um, race in the game, but I don't know. I like dragons, so I went with the male Ra for my main character, but I'm going to do a female this time. They're pretty cute, and I, I really like a lot of the outfits that you're able to get later on in the game for the female models, so we're going to try that this time. Um, and like I said, Ra definitely, because they're the best. Um, so my main uh, aura is Azela, which means they're the they have the dark scales. They're um, they are descended from the Dusk Mother, whereas the Rain are um, 
white scaled and uh, they have I don't know I don't know there's some really interesting um, story behind the race so we'll get into that once we uh, hop into Stormblood a little bit more um, but that'll be a little ways away and I don't really want to explain too much at this point um, so we're gonna do a rain this time. Mm I think I like four. No, not four. Ha <laughs> 
I think I like five. Mm -hmm. mm -mm. Let's see, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna go with five, I think. Yeah. There we go. And that's all for that. Um No, I don't wanna save that. Alright, so we're gonna pick her date of birth. Um, let's do I'm just going to kind of pick it randomly. I don't think this actually affects anything about the gameplay itself. Um, let me do one of that. Umbral. Moons. Let's do the sixth one. And we'll pick... Pick 17. Okay, now the uh, patron deity, um, I don't think it really affects much of anything in the game other than maybe um, some roleplay parts. Uh, it could also just be, it might uh, do some minor affecting of some stats, but I don't think it does much of anything, so it's just going to be kind of fun to read through these. So Helone is the mover of glaciers and goddess of war. Um, they are the guardian deity of Ishgard. Uh, she commands the element of ice and is associated with the first moon of the Eorzean calendar. Helone is the daughter of Ralgar and a bitter rival of Nofica. She is most often depicted as a relentless warrioress armed with a bronze great shield. Her symbol is the three spears. Manfina is keeper of the moon and goddess of love. She commands the element of ice and is associated with the second moon of the Eorzean calendar. Manfina is the sister of Zima and the divine lover of Oshan. She is most often depicted as a maid carrying a round skillet. Her symbol is the full moon. Thaliak is the ruler of rivers and wisdom ooh, and god of knowledge. Um, they are the guardian deity of Charlian. He commands the element of water and is associated with the third moon of the Eorzean calendar. Thaliac is the father of Limeline and the teacher of Byrgot. He is most often depicted as a reserved scholar holding an ashen staff. His symbol is the scroll. Maybe that one. Nymia is the watcher of celestial bodies and goddess of fate she commands the element of water and is associated with the fourth moon of the eorzean calendar nymia is the younger sister of althic and master of Ralgar. she is most often depicted uh, as wearing as a weaver donning a white silken veil her symbol is the spinning wheel L lomalane watcher of the seas and goddess of navigation is the guardian deity of limsa lominsa that is one of the big city states in the game she commands the element of wind and is associated with the fifth moon of the eorzean calendar limelin is the daughter of thaliac and the elder sister of nofica she is most often depicted as a strong fisherwoman wielding a long bladed harpoon her symbol is the wave Ashan is the ruler of the mountains and god of travelers and vagrants. Ooh. He commands the element of wind and is associated with the sixth moon of the Eorzean calendar. Ashan is the brother of Naldthal and the close companion of Halone. He is most often depicted as a carefree ranger wielding a bow of yew. His symbol is the walking stick. 
Beiergott is the purveyor of architecture and industry and god of the arts. He commands the element of lightning and is associated with the seventh moon of the Eorzean calendar. Beiergott is the elder brother of Halone and pupil of Thaliac. He is most often depicted as an ardent smith with a two-headed hammer. His symbol is the hand. Ralgar, breaker of worlds, is the god of destruction and guardian deity of the now fallen nation of Alamigo. He commands the element of lightning and is associated with the eighth moon of the Eorzean calendar. Ralgar is the father of both Beirgot and Halone and serves as an attendant of Nymia. He is most often depicted as a magus carrying a staff of bronze. His symbol is the strike, streaking meteor. Azima, Azimia, Azima, is keeper of the sun and goddess of inquiry. She commands the element of fire and is associated with the ninth moon of the Eorzean calendar. Azima is the daughter of Althic and the elder sister of Menfina. She is most often depicted as a noble lady holding a golden fan. Her symbol is the radiant sun. Nodthal, overseer of the underworld and god of commerce, is the guardian deity of Ulda. He commands the element of fire and is associated with the 10th moon of the Eorzean calendar. Nodthal is the single manifestation of the deific uh, twins Nald and Thal. He is most often depicted as a discerning merchant holding a balance. His symbol is the cowrie, an ancient shell currency. Nafika, tender of soils and harvests and goddess of abundance, is the guardian deity of Gridania. She commands the element of earth and is associated with the 11th moon of the Eorzean calendar. Nafika is the daughter of Azima and the younger sister of Limelin. She is most often depicted as a jubilant farmer holding a scythe of steel. Her, her symbol is the spring leaf. And last but not least, Althic is the surveyor of change and space and god of time. He commands the element of earth and is associated with the 12th moon of the Eorzean calendar. Althic is the father of Azima and Menfina and elder brother to Nymia. He is most often depicted as an austere emperor wielding a mithril great axe. His symbol is the hourglass. He sounds pretty interesting too, but I think I'm going to probably stick with the navigation goddess. I don't know. Surveyor of Ch Change and Space and God of Time sounds really cool as well. And I don't think I want to be in Lim Like, I don't think I want my starting city to be Limsa Lamensa. I don't really want to play any of the classes that start there, except for maybe Warrior. Okay, so either... I think I'm going to switch to either Thaliac, the God of Knowledge, or the God of Time. And this is just fun. Like, I don't like, it doesn't matter to the character all that much, but do I want, I think I'm going to do God of Knowledge. Yeah. Alright, so now we're going to pick the class. Um, and I'm going to switch to the attire that I would be wearing at level 50 in said class. So these are the Disciples of War. Um, most of them are going to be physical damage of some kind. Uh, a lot of them do have spell type magic uh, abilities later on, but most uh, focus on the physical aspect of damage. So like the, gl the Gladiator will turn into the Paladin, and obviously they use a sword. Then there's Pugilist, which turns into Monk, and they use their fists and feet for damage, and they're pretty cool. I really like playing Monk. Um, I'm not super great at it, but it's a lot of fun. Marauder. That's the word I was looking for earlier. So they turn into the warrior and they fight with a great axe. And they're really cool. Very ragey. Lancer turns into Dragoon, which I showed you that I have a Dragoon leveled up to 70. I really like this class. Um, I didn't like it when I first started playing the game. Um, it wasn't really what I wanted to do. 
but after a while I decided to go ahead and just try it out. I thought a lot of the jump abilities looked neat, and I ended up really falling in love with it. Um, so, I don't know, I'm really thinking about leveling another one, but we'll see. Then there's Archer, which turns into the Bard. They play an instrument, uh, like this, um bow that also doubles as a harp and they sing songs to buff the party and increase damage and they're really cool i like them a lot too and then we have disciples of magic so we start out with conjurer this is one of the uh healers of the game so yeah they turn into white mage which you can tell by the gear here <laughs> very white magey uh, Thaumaturge is the Black Mage, and they have a lot of really cool firepower. Um, the only complaint about that class is that you kind of end up becoming a, a fire turret, basically, because you can't move around a whole lot, but it's still a really fun and challenging class to work on. And then Arcanist can turn into two different classes. It can either become a Scholar, which is another healer um, that uses pets, or a summoner is a DPS that does dot damage with a pet. So that is Arcanist. And of course it's showing me the summoner gear instead of the scholar gear, but that's fine. I'm probably gonna... To one of the Disciples of War though, to be honest. I wouldn't mind leveling a healer because that, that's... I, I've i got t one leveled to 70 on my main. I leveled uh, Astrologian, which is something you can pick up at level uh, 50 when you enter uh, Heaven's Ward, but I never really leveled the beginning healer classes. Um, if I don't do that, I might do one of the tanks. Because uh, leveling would be a lot quicker that way. Um, DPS leveling is kind of slow. And as much as I love Dragoon and Bard, I might not. At the beginning, I might do them later. Um just to kind of show them off, but I might just kind of start out as either Gladiator or Marauder. I'm not sure which of the two I would rather do. Gladiator can be fun. I never actually leveled uh, Gladiator all the way up, though. I think that I stopped at, like, level... 40. Um, I've got Marauder and Dark Knight level to 70 though. Dark Knight is uh, probably my favorite class in the game. Um, so I'll probably unlock it when we get there, but I most likely won't main it on this character like I did on Jing. Um, <laughs> that little dance. So because I haven't leveled Gladiator, I'm probably going to go ahead and pick that one. Um, one, because I haven't done it, and two, because at least this way I'll get pretty quick um, queue times for dungeons and other things like that for whenever I need to do leveling. I'm most likely not going to show all of the grinding that I'm going to have to do in the game uh, to get leveled up, um, but this will help me do that so that way I can keep uploading videos at a decent rate. I'm not sure, but I think I'll probably go ahead and do Gladiator. I wouldn't hate it. <laughs> um, the only bad thing is it means it starts me off in Old Awe, and I don't really want to start in Old Awe. Marauder starts me in Limsa, 
Lancer would start me in Gridania, which is technically where I'd rather start out at. So would Archer. I think what I'll do is go ahead and start out as Lancer <clears throat> so I can start in Gridania and do the story from Gridania. And um, once I get to the part of the story where you can go to the three city states, I'll just go and unlock Gladiator and uh, off camera level that up to where I, uh, where my Lancer is, and then continue the story from the gladiator perspective. And I know that's a weird roundabout way to do it, but I think that's going to be what I'm going to do. There's the... That's the gear I'll be starting out with. <laughs> and... So yeah. Alright, now we're going to kick... Um, yeah, it moved me to Coral. Oh, okay. It let me select Midgard Summer. Awesome. Alright, so now we get to pick the name. Um, so, as you noticed with uh, Zhang, I picked an Asian name. I actually named him after um, a character from a series of books that I've been reading, uh, the Tim Rare novel series. Um, and I know you're not really supposed to do that, but shh. Um, so I think I'm going to probably name her after another character from that and follow the same surname, even though they're not going to be on the same world. That's okay. Lien. Let's see if that... We'll take and it's thinking <gasps> oh she's really happy about that <laughs> all right and we're gonna begin and this first cutscene is really neat I barely remember it though it's been so long like I said, there's a lot that I've forgotten about the game, which is the main reason I really wanted to do this replay. Um, I wanted to re-experience a lot of the smaller parts of the story. There's a lot of really big major events that I remember. Um, it's the the little things and certain characters I know that I've forgotten. I kind of want to see if they've, like, they did the thing, like, a lot of movies and, yeah. and, and series have done where they, they give you flashes of characters that are important later. I really want to see if they yeah. did that. Feel. He's important later. Big bad. Hear, feel, think. <laughs> oh, they put me in my dragoon gear. <laughs>
Oi. <laughs> and there we are. Y'all right, Lois? You were moaning in your sleep and sweating buckets besides. That'll be the ether, I reckon. Some are more prone to the sickness than others. No need to fret, though. You'll soon get used to it. <laughs> Old drunk. She's just like, what? I love the Moogles so much. They're so ridiculous. Feeling better, Koopo? Aha! You can see us! I had a feeling you could, Koopo. We're Moogles, and we live in this wood. <laughs> Normal folks can't see or hear us, which makes you special, Koopo. And seeing how you're special, maybe you can tell us something. The woods been restless of late, lots of strange things happening. Have you chance to witness anything suspicious, Koopo? Nope. <laughs> Look how shocked she is. But of course you haven't. You've only just arrived. Well, there's nothing for it then. We'll just have to keep looking. Nice to meet you, Koopo. I can't remember if you get to interact with them again later. Oh, look at there's more! I don't remember that interaction happening at all. I thought you just talked to this drunk guy. And then he's gonna be like, oh, there's... it's all gone! <laughs> Where'd he go? I don't know. I didn't see anything. Gridania is still a, far, a fair way off, in case you were wondering. Seeing as you're awake, how's about you keep me company till we get there? It's got very nice. Them young'uns don't care for much for conversation, see? <laughs> I like how they're just ignoring the fact that he's talking about them. How do you say that? Bromont's the name, and Pedlin's me trade. As for your good self, judging by your unusual garments... Oh, my alarm went off. Sorry about that. Um, I'd say you were one of them new adventures. Am I warm? Yep. I knew it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking fortune and glory. Now that's what I call a living. Me too. I wish I could do that in real life. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventuring's a risky business these days, especially. What was it that attracted you to it? Mm. I'm not really caring about gaining power, although that is useful. I don't care about glory at all. I don't really want fame. Uh, fortune's kind of nice, but I think I'm going to do dot 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 for my answer. Because I don't know. Well, if you ain't inclined to tell, I ain't about a pry. Might be as old Bromont's a, a chatterbox, but he sure as hell ain't no busybody. Thank you. We have a secret or three, don't we? Me? Dozens. And I'd rather they stayed secret, too. Which is why I don't go sticking me nose where it ain't welcome. That's a good philosophy to have. Just remember, though, there's more important things than fortune and glory, such as breathing. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. Not wrong. Halt. Go no further. What's this, then? Oh! Wah! <laughs> What's going on? A skirmish has broken out up ahead with the Ixal. For your own safety, you must remain here until... Bloody hells! We shall, we shall hold him here. Try to break clear. 
Run away! That looked like they died pretty quickly though. That was too bleeding close! Nice of the Exile to send us a welcome party though, eh? Jokins aside, this won't be the last time you meet those feathered fiends, so just you take care, alright? Will do. By the by, is this your first trip to Gerdania? Yes. On this character. <laughs> <clears throat> it is? Well then, let this journey itinerant tell you the ins and outs of your destination. <clears throat> the city of Gerdania lies slap bang in the middle of the Black Shroud, the biggest, luscious forest in all Eorzea. I like that. Slap bang. <laughs> Though it ain't near as lush as it used to be saying that. Not since the calamity laid half of it to waste. The destruction prompted a herd of new nasties to move in and gave the Ixel unneeded encouragement. Birdsmen raid have become a daily occurrence. Ah, at long last. Behold Grudania, the forest nation blessed by the elementals. The Black Shroud, the ancient oh, forest, close to the heart of Eorzea. Beneath the boughs of its towering trees so lies the woodland city-state of Gridania. That's why I wanted to start in Gridania, because I think it's pretty. Once a sanctuary from the world beyond the hedge, even the mighty elementals, eternal guardians of the forest, could not forestall the coming of the seventh umbral era. However, the goddess Nofika was never one to forsake her children, and today she welcomes another brave soul. One who may yet play a telling role in the tale of this great realm. And here's where we part ways, lass. I'm off to the markets to deliver me wares, then it's back to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this by way of thanks for keeping me company. Hey, you never did tell me your name, did you? Well, here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, and I'll consider a square. I can do that. I think. May the matron take her to her bosom that bosom. she may never want. And in her heart, so serenity, purity, and sanctity. Final Fantasy fourteen. Oh, look at her smile. Yes, you. 